ASA CF8 is the latest addition to the ever-expanding Fibron family, blending the advanced weather-resistant polymer ASA with 8% chopped carbon fibers. This precise ratio balances strength and processability, boosting modulus and tensile strength whilst remaining easy to print on enclosed printers. What makes this filament unique is a surface finish and printability that go hand in hand, producing some of the cleanest 3D printed parts I've ever seen. And as a bonus, to show this amazing surface finish, we're introducing five additional colors to join black in the portfolio. This will be the first time a Fibron material has color choice. We've developed some spectacular colors that when paired with the carbon fibers offer a really unique surface finish, which is not only aesthetically pleasing, but also functional. The general rule of coloring fiber reinforced filaments is that dark colors work well with carbon and light colors work well with glass. This is a natural byproduct from the color of the fibers as the glass fibers are refractive and generally white in color and the carbon is obviously black. For most other fibron materials, we let carbon itself do the coloring. And in some cases, we add a minute portion of black colorant to ensure everything stays consistent. When it comes to ASA CF8, we're launching black, navy blue, dark red, dark gray, light gray, and my personal favorite, desert sand. If we take a closer look at the desert sand print using the macro lens, we can see the two-tone appearance of the sandy undercolor and the individual carbon fibers contrasting against each other, creating an amalgamation of strength and beauty. In another example, I've printed this handy rope tensioner in dark red. And a similar effect comes into play when I tighten these M3 bolts along the seam line. Almost like magic, the seam completely disappears this is not only testament to the outstanding print quality and dimensional accuracy of this filament, but also the unique surface finish you get with these colors, where the random texture of carbon fibers completely hides the layer lines and produces a part which doesn't look or feel 3D printed. The ASA CF Black also delivers an extremely clean surface finish, and this replacement mount for a broken bicycle basket looks better than the original injection molded piece. This weather station was printed with no support, and at the bottom here, this overhang is printed at 70 degrees, which is one of the cleanest overhangs I've ever seen, and better than what I'd expect from PLA. The holes on the inside are also exceptionally formed, and there's zero sagging with a very high degree of roundness for the holes. For the base of this weather station, there are some large flat surfaces that did need support. For this print, I chose PLA as an interface support, and this seems to be a valid option for multi-material support. So, what might be some applications for ASA CF? Well, first of all, ASA is currently the third most popular filament on the market behind PLA and PTG. So the volume and applications are already quite extensive. But what sets ASA apart from other popular materials is its weather resistance. This means that if you need a material for an outdoor application, then nine times out of 10, ASA is the go-to choice. This can range from tap adapters to drones, RC planes, bike parts, camping equipment, weather stations, or even these fuzzy skin rock climbing holes. The reason why ASA is so weather resistant comes down to its individual monomers. As you already know, ASA stands for acrylonitrile styrene acrylate and shares two monomers with the world famous ABS, the acrylonitrile and the styrene. And it's the styrene which gives these two materials such a familiar smell when printing or processing. The B in ABS stands for butadiene rubber, which is full of double bonds which absorb UV light. Sunlight breaks these bonds, creating free radicals that react with oxygen. This causes the polymer chains to snap and crumble. Over time, this leads to yellowing, brittleness, and cracking, which breaks down the plastic outdoors and makes it more brittle. ASA replaces butadiene with acrylic rubber, which has the ability to resist UV damage, keeping parts strong, flexible, and color stable for years. When it comes to moisture, ASA's backbone contains mostly non-polar hydrocarbon chains. This is from the styrene and the acrylate components. Water molecules are polar, so they don't easily interact or diffuse into the non-polar ASA matrix. This means that ASA barely swells when it contacts water, leaving your 3D printed parts dimensionally accurate in both sunshine and rain. We are currently conducting accelerated UV stability testing on ASACF. 
The methodology requires prolonged exposure measured in thousands of hours to simulate long-term environmental conditions. There is no valid means of compressing this time frame without compromising the data integrity. So results are anticipated to be available in the coming months. So we've got a filament with excellent printability, unique surface finish, UV stability, moisture resistance, HDT over 100 and a competitive price. What's the catch? Well, after using this filament extensively for the last two months, the only downside I've witnessed is the brittleness of the filament itself. If we use this radius strain gauge to measure the breaking radius of the filament through a tube, we can easily pass through the 60mm and also the 55mm. When we get to the 50mm radius, the filament is snapping. With the compact design of modern printers, this can be an issue when tubes follow a tight curve. A couple of times I've had to fish broken bits of filament out of the AMS, so take this into consideration when printing ASA CF. ASA CF8 is an exceptionally versatile, durable filament, ideal for a wide range of indoor and outdoor applications. Delivering some of the cleanest prints I've ever seen, its combination of robust mechanical properties and distinctive surface finish truly sets this filament apart.